In the book of first samuel 16 the bible talks about man looks at the outward appearance of things but god always looks at the heart yes that scripture is uh, actually emphasizing and letting us know that god is more interested in your spirit rather than the outward appearance of things and without say with that said actually that's the basis of uh, this whole conversation but you see we live in a um, in a world with human beings who will always tend to judge according to what they see and we can't really say uh, it's an issue i guess that's just how human beings are created and clothes are silent communicators clothes have a very silent language but clothes convey uh, different messages so including uh, your identity culture and also personal expression so you can do that actually with your clothes just like for example you know you, and clothes are very powerful because uh think of it like this for example if you're if you're driving and then you see someone dressed uh, as a traffic police the attire and they just put that in front of you definitely you will stop not because of the person you, are, you don't know the person you're not sure if they're really a traffic cop or anything but because they have that uh cloth on you will respect it so there are clothes that uh, can give you respect there are clothes that can um, draw a lot of uh seek attention there are clothes that actually are very uh, attention seeking there are clothes that are uh they, they could be confusing confusing now to the people maybe for you it's okay but uh yeah so clothes are have a lot of impact so this video first of all let us analyze uh, what prophet lovi had here so this is actually his preaching uh and people are saying that this is a scat so this is a clip that he shared uh, on his tiktok and this clip got a lot of critics let me tell you a lot that clip has been watched with over almost 300k people but a lot of people are really really criticizing this so criticizing so if we we have a look at this clip uh let's just analyze this attire so if you look at it from this angle here it definitely looks like a skirt so some people have uh, the saying that uh this is a skirt you see yes from this angle here if this is a picture it's posed here and then uh, it's shared definitely uh, can work as a skirt but uh, if you look at it from this point here you see that it has a it has an opening so that clearly shows uh, it's it's not a skirt let's look at it from the back side yeah uh, so you see yes from this angle here this looks like a skirt no doubt about it yeah so yeah so this is not uh this is not a skirt these are uh it's a pant it's known as palazzo pants this was actually i think it used to be an old school kind of a dressing that was really embraced around the 60s there so but for these pants it was uh, mainly being dressed by women but currently we are we have seen a lot of a uh, change in fashion and men embracing some of the so-called uh, women attires like for example remember there was a time uh, it was very hard for men to put on anything that had a pink on but but lately we lately we've been seeing a lot of uh, even pink suits pink shirts and all that so right now they are terming pink as a very as a unisex color yeah so there's that shift of fashion over over time i don't know what you think about that but uh men have been embracing some of the attires that are actually that in the past used to be looked as female attires but the question i always have you see because this is now prophet lovi uh, is preaching and you know these men are uh, these men of god always have a lot of impact especially 
primarily uh, on the people that really follow them closely. Because the people that really follow, the, follow them closely, over time you will find them, uh, they start to dress like, they'll start to, to pick on some of the things that is embraced by their pastor, their prophet or their apostle. Not only in terms of uh, biblical things, but also such kind of uh, things like attires, the hairstyles, they'll embrace that. So they have very, very strong impact. That one is uh, without a doubt. That one, I, I'm telling you, it's without a, a doubt. But now my question is, you know, the Bible speaks about a lot of uh, how ladies are supposed to dress and it talks about um, dressing modestly. But what about uh, pastors and apostles? Is there maybe a biblical guide on how they should dress or anything can just go? Because now if this is now the trend, if this now is the vibe, I'm sure very soon enough, then now they'll be starting to preach in vests. we seeing them with a uh, ragged shorts, preaching in vests. So I don't know if there's a guide, a biblical guide you can. Let me know what you think on that uh, on the comment section. But at the end of, uh, later on, I'll let you know what I think about that as well. But I'm thinking uh, it's important for us, you see, as much as we're embracing fashion and everything, but dressing for the occasion, I think it's something uh, of importance because there is a certain attire that you can put on as much as you, you're trying to seek attention with that attire, but you see uh, it can be distracting because I'm thinking here now it's, uh, it's, it's, it's now it's, uh, you try to preach, you're trying to lead men to God and everything, but now people can be distracted from the word and now just be focusing on your attire because I'm thinking about maybe I'm a, I'm a, I'm a new person just attended this church like for the very first time i don't know who prophet lovi is so i'm seated there and then all of a sudden now i see someone who's coming out to preach the main word and then he's dressed like this definitely that one will really really seek a lot of attention and even just from this post that he did online no one cared to no one cared to comment about what he was saying no one cared to comment that uh, that word is powerful like they normally do on his uh, other posts but on this one, everyone was just all about the cloth. Like now, even went ahead actually to just uh, switch off the comment section because it was outrageous. So, I, I guess this attire was a bit distracting. Especially now, if you're coming to preach with this, I think this is distract. This is totally distracting. If you're going, maybe if he was uh, going for an award and he wanted to seek a attention for journalists and bloggers and everyone i think this could work but now preaching in this i don't i don't think so personally i don't think so you guys can let me know what you think that is just my own opinion you know i remember i remember back in the day uh before i got born again i used to watch a lot of benny Hinn. i used to watch benny Hinn a lot on the screen and uh, also pastor chris and benny Hinn used to put on these uh white suits if you remember Benny, those times he used to do these uh, white suits. Everything was white, the tie, the shirt. They used to see this guy there, he's walking in white. You know, and it looked so glorious. It looked so glorious. It, it was like an angel. And then uh, I noticed that with Pastor Chris as well. And somehow, somehow I think that, uh, I, I, I think it, it brings, and uh, brings uh, it's, it's very symbolic. You see, it brings, it's like heaven down here. So it's actually it's actually very amazing. So that one really captured my attention back then, and I was always like, "Hey, that's you see that man of God in white suits, and that was just glorious. It actually symbolizes a, a lot of heaven." So, so attires are uh, obviously express uh, your identity as a person, status, belonging, and uh, currently. You can't ignore uh, attires because you see, for example, if, even the colors and style in attires. Like for example, you see currently if you put on an attire with a lot of um, rainbow colors, maybe you're putting on, uh, maybe if it's even a shirt with a lot of rainbow colors and everything, 
that one clearly speaks it's like you're in support of the lgbt community it's like you're embracing that it's like you're supporting that so attires uh convey very very strong messages and identity so i'm not sure exactly what um uh, Prophet Lovi wanted to convey or the message that he wanted his followers maybe to get with this attire. I don't know if this was an experiment. I'm not sure about that. But uh, you, you can let me know what you think about this. But I'll say it's a very bold move for him to put such an attire because I'm sure that he knew a lot of people are going to speak about this. I don't know if he was doing this just to gain attention because, you, you, know, sir, you, you, you know, currently there's a trend that has been going on uh, with pastors and uh, apostles and everyone they are more like uh, they're acting more like uh, the music celebrities because you see for a music celebrity they tend to wear things that I'm sure I'm sure they just want to create scandals you understand they want to create scandals that everyone will be talking about them but now for a man of God I don't think your purpose or your intention should be people to just every day be talking about you i think you should be uh, drawing men to god more rather than drawing men to yourself you see because now uh, if you dress like this definitely you end up being the center of attraction and now people are, uh, won't be focused really on the message that you will be speaking about but now they will just be talking about you and what you're dressed and uh, the whole trendy look you have so I don't know uh, why that has been a thing currently, but I've been seeing a lot of uh, a lot of these. They have really, they have really, they have really gone out of uh, out of the just that tradition that we used to know of uh, pastors and apostles just putting on very nice suits, uh, looking very official and presentable, and all that. Right now, uh, I've seen a lot of change and a lot of trendy looks. So you you tend to confuse them with even musicians they, they put on more of this celebrity look and even we've seen some of them embracing that celebrity kind of a lifestyle so i don't know why that has been the thing i don't know why that has been the thing you, you can let me know what you think but a man of god needs to draw men to god definitely the attires you can put on that are drawing men more to yourself rather than and uh even 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 in the choirs uh even in the lead singers we've seen that change there's actually been a very huge shift currently even i've seen uh i remember there was a time i was watching another worship and uh, the lead singer had this trendy caps on one side they had you see you see like the shirt the you see the t-shirt he had put on was torn on one side the other side it was just ragged and this ragged look but they are now they're there worshiping god wow i don't know maybe it's actually just the cool trend i don't know i don't know i don't know you you can let me know what you think but it's actually a thing that i've been seeing uh happen but this attire here this one uh to me for the occasion of preaching this one i'll give it a no i don't think this was uh the right attire for this kind of place if it was an award that was okay maybe it was an award you wanted to capture people's attention that was okay but now for the altar where now uh everything needs to be sacred and all that uh I'd, 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 according to me i don't think this is the attire for that this one it's a very distracting very distracting and it was if now prophet lovi has gone ahead switch off the comment section it clearly shows that uh the attire had been distracting thing so as uh, i wrap up today's episode i hope um hope you've gained a fresh perspective on the intricate language of clothes so i like to hear what you think about this whether but i think whether you're a fashionista or just starting to explore your style i think remember that every garment has a story to tell so it's important for you to have that in mind what story do you want to tell 
with what uh, you decide to put on. What story do you want to tell? And I will also love to hear what you think. What, what story do you think Prophet Lovi was trying to tell us with his attire? There are some people who have gone ahead to speak very, very harsh words that I I won't I won't be able to I won't be able to I won't be able to respect them. Yes, but um the people who have gone really hard just because of this attire. But according to you, what do you think? What's the story that he wanted to tell with this attire? Did we did I miss something about it? Or I don't know. What's what exactly, what message did he want to tell with his attire? Is it or is just just Amma, he was just he was just enjoying himself, just showing that he's a fashionist. I don't know. You can let me know what you think that about that on the comment section. So if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. And uh you can gladly just share your comments right there on the comment section. What do you think about this attire? Are uh, these men of God going uh extreme? Are they doing extreme things? Or what exactly? Just to please people, just to seek attention. Exactly what is the purpose of all this? Why not just keep it simple and uh, let the people just focus on the message and the word that you have because you spent a lot of time in prayer. Do you believe that the word you're about to share is the word that God has given you? So why are you now distracting the flow of that message with now your outward appearance? The man will always tend to look at the outward appearance of things. And man will judge from that. You can't expect now people to, to start to go and search for your heart. What was your heart? What was your motive? No, no, no. We can't go searching for your heart. Definitely, if you get a point where we are searching for your heart, I don't... Maybe you will you'll not be breathing. <laughs> and, we, and us, we're not doctors, so we don't know how to search for your heart. Yeah, but in that scripture is not talking about really the physical heart, it's speaking about your spirit. Because as you know, we are spirit beings. But definitely people have no time to now because not everyone is going to sit you down and start to ask you by the way what was your intention in all these, what was the motive. I don't think anyone has that time. And even you, you don't have that time because there's so much on plate currently. So let me know what you think about this on the comment section. Let me know what you think about this. Because this is crazy, guys. This one is so crazy. This is crazy. What a, what a move here. What a move here. But let me just show you how people here in the crowd, people are worshipping. And you see even the way, they are, the way this person has recorded this video. Very intentional. Just wanted, you see he has recorded that uh, we he has recorded the front part. See, he has recorded the side and the back. So he has given us a 360. And Pedlovi posted this as the first clip. <laughs> so we just for seeking attention. But look at the service, uh, how people are worshipping. See that lady right there. See that dude. Uh, I'm not staring though. Some are staring, some are just focused on the worship and maybe the mood that was there at that time. But uh, this is the first clip that he shared. And on this clip that he shared of this attire, that was a 360 degrees rotation of the whole attire. <laughs> yeah, guys. So, I don't know, but it's been a lot of seeking of attention from men of God. Maybe that's why they've been posing with a lot of um, these worldly worldly music celebrities. Like you, you've seen even with the, with the, with the latest scandal of um, Bishop T.D. Jakes with the PDD. You see, because um, people are asking a lot of questions. The union between a bishop and now a world a very, very world rap star. We all know how the rap and the whole hip hop is. You know, hip hop actually is a culture. Hip hop is a culture, so it has its own tradition. It has its own uh, worship and everything. So, just for the bishop now to be in partnership with a hip hop rap star, 
controversial. But these are things that are happening currently. So is it just to seek attention? I don't know. You can let me know what you think on the comment section. It is what it is. So see you on the next video.